Hey, what's going on, guys? Archer and Mark here. I'm back with another Star Wars figure review. And I'm really excited to show you this. Uh, I've been really anticipating this little set ever since I heard it was announced. This is the Kmart exclusive Ewok Assault Catapult. And I just, I'm really liking this little set. Again, if you've been following some of my videos over the past year or so, all these various little uh, vintage collection style Ewoks that have been coming out, I've been like snapping these up. You know, there was another uh, Ewok 2 pack. Um, there was a Kmart exclusive last year. We got that Toys R Us pack. It was like it was like a five pack of Ewoks. And i just been really going nuts collecting these Ewoks. I just, I love these little space teddy bears. I do. And this is a really great set. Um, like I said, it's Kmart exclusive. There's this, and then there's the two scanning crew packs, which I haven't seen. This was the only pack that they had in, in that Kmart uh, the, from the other day. It's, they only had one, and it was this one. They didn't have any of the others. So, But I'm really glad to get this and show it to you guys. First, we'll give you a look at the packaging, which looks amazing. You have this great vintage style packaging, uh, obviously reminiscent of the, the vintage collection, even though you know the vintage collection is on, let's say, hiatus for now. But this great vintage looking packaging looks amazing. Uh, it's 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 almost worth it for the box alone. Uh, we got uh, ages four and up. Uh, your warning, Trucking has your great Star Wars Return of the Jedi logo. Uh, Ewok Assault Catapult. And we go down, again, you have this sort of little fantasy diorama here in the jungle. The catapult and the, the two Ewoks that it comes with. Uh, and this was even on sale. It was, uh, not sure what the regular price is, but it was sixteen ninety nine, which was... Advertised as a sale price. I'm not sure what the regular price is. So, uh, only a Kmart sticker and very cool Kenner logo. We got the Hasbro logo there as well. So, paying homage there. Uh, includes catapult, two stones, and two figures. Uh, we got the side again. Uh, just uh, Return of the Jedi logo, Ewok Assault catapult. That's on either side and the top. Same thing. Uh, the back. Is basically the same image as the front, just without the the Kmart sticker on there. And we also get the the names of the Ewoks. We have Chub Ray and Stemzy. These funny little names. I love it. Return of the Jedi, uh, Star Wars: The Vintage Collection logo there. Uh, again, the Hasbro logo, Kenner, StarWars.com. So very cool. Just gonna leave that right like that. So here it is. Uh, real quick, one other thing. I'll show you the little instruction sheet that it comes with. Again, very retro looking. Uh, it just shows you just quick how to assemble the, the catapult. It's just two pieces just put together. And a little insert there. Um, so just to show you that real quick. We're gonna go with. We're gonna show you the catapult first, because the main event is the Ewoks. The catapult is a nice accessory; it gives you a little Ewok weapon to battle the Empire. But this is really well done. You can see again. Obviously, it's just you know it's plastic, but it's, they really did a great job of making it look like vines and trees and you know. Different shades of brown and green, and the vines a little gray, beige, and just very, very well done. Really looks like trees and vines. You know, you can see the bottom there. I don't want to drop the rock, so I'm just trying to be careful there. You know, it looks like something. Uh, that these primitive natives of Endor would could put together, and and it is functional. It does have a uh, a play feature, which I'll show you in a moment. And it's just really well done. You have a real 
piece of string here. It would be neat if they made it made the color of the string like green or something to make it look like a vine or something. Uh, but that's pretty cool just in itself. And you can see the detail. You know, they could have cheaped out on this. They could have just made it very simple. But they really did a good job doing this. And you'll see there's one of the rocks. I'll grab it. Here it is. comes with two rocks, as you see. And these look well sculpt as well kind of slight uh, different shades of gray uh, let's see if, just to give you a look there and you can see the hole now there is like a little peg on this part of the catapult where you place the rock there and that will hold it there until you launch it so both the rocks have this little hole there okay. I'll just put that over to the side I'm going to attempt to show this. So you have this mechanism here, which you turn this way, and it builds the pressure, and it will fling the rock. And we'll see if we can do this with one hand. See, oh, of course, it fell down on camera. I was doing this. I was doing this all day before, as I was sort of playing around with this. Okay, let's see if we can get this to work. They, and just flings it just like that. You could even uh, turn the thing even more. You can get even more torque on it. You can really get it to, to fly if you want. Uh, if you want to do some sort of diorama in your room, have it or outside, have it crash into a, uh, a scout walker or some stormtroopers or something. See, again, let's see if I can get this to turn. But you can get it. You can really get even more torque on it. And it'll really spring forward. Okay. But I'll show you that. So there is, here's the little peg that the boulders uh, rest on. So you have the two of those, so that's cool. You know, you gotta, gotta have your uh, Ewok ammunition. Okay, so there's the catapult. Now we're gonna go with, we'll show you the Ewoks. I'll show you, this is Chub Ray. We'll go with him first. And you know, like all these Ewoks, they all look really cool. And they're pretty much mostly kind of repaints of other Ewoks. Uh, you know, reused parts, but hey, that's that's fine. You know, they're the Ewoks. They're same species. They should look similar to each other. You know, these guys all brown fur, uh, except for right there. He's got the little patch around the one eye of kind of white fur, and just nicely paint apps on you know the eyes and the nose and the mouth, and you can see little details even on the toenails. And the fingernails, you know, they painted a different color. And it's nicely sculpted well. You know, it looks like fur. It's very well done. It's, it's a little plain. We've seen some Ewoks with have uh, more variations of color, but, yeah, it does the part. Uh, you have his his uh, headdress, which is like a very soft plastic. It is removable. Uh, it's, it takes a little bit of time, so you may have to remove the head to get it off then replace it but you can take that off if you want but it's very nicely done it's nicely sculpted again this looks like you know like it's meant to look like stitching and it's it's very nice uh, articulation uh, not too bad uh, ball dry neck ball and shoulders there's uh, swivel shoulders uh, swivel wrists you have a uh, swivel waist Swivel hips and his ball hinged uh, ankles. So not the greatest articulation, but for an Ewok, you know, it's not too bad. Uh, you know, we've seen better. Uh, he does come with this one spear. Nicely sculpted again, detail. Really to make that look like stone and vine, you know, different color up here, uh, which is, you know, nice detail. They could have made it all brown, but they... Gave us a little extra different color. 
We have this kind of rock-like piece here that looks like a spearhead. So that's really well done. So that is Chub Ray. And give you now the other guy here, we have Stemzy, which I like. This is my favorite of the two. Just the face sculpt, and he's got you know a little more uh, different variations of color, kind of a, a tan and then a, like a lighter brown. And then his little headdress again is is removable, just like the others. It's, it's like a soft, kind of rubbery plastic, kind of a gray color there. And I love the face. Look at that, that little face, that little cute little Ewok face. Gotta love it. How could you hate the Ewoks? Come on, people. Uh, again, variation uh, on the, the, the toenails and the fingernails, you know, a little uh, different color paint. Uh, they didn't cheap out on the paint apps there, so that's really well done. Um, he has great articulation, uh, a little bit more uh, than Chub Ray here. Ball jointed neck, you got a ball, ball hinged uh, shoulders, ball hinged elbows, uh, swivel wrist, swivel waist. Ball jointed hips, and you have hinged ankles. So, uh, so great articulation there. Uh, comes with a spear himself. Uh, this one is not painted as well as the other. It's a little more plain. It's mostly brown, but you do have the paint there for the the spear tip. Okay. Uh, so it, it still it still works. It still does the part. And I just I love these Ewoks. Just Building up this army of Ewoks it just looks so great. I love the the stripes on the fur. Really looks well. Really cool. I just I love this pack. You know, I, it's it just seems to me. You know, we keep getting all these Ewoks. I've mentioned this before. We're getting these Ewok accessories. Uh, a while back, a few years ago, uh, there was a, a glider done uh, with with an Ewok. We've had all these other Ewoks. Hasbro, I want a new Ewok village. I'm begging you, please give us an Ewok village. We got all these Ewoks. We got no little home for these guys. They're homeless. Uh, I'm, ah, we, we may never see it. It may be too big of a thing. They don't really do... Uh, play sets anymore but I would love to see it I've mentioned this so many times uh, but there you go this is uh, still a great pack it's great to have this um, the Kmart exclusive Vintage Collection Ewok Assault catap Catapult uh, you got a great accessory here two more Ewoks to add to the collection this is definitely worth the money I think uh, I would Definitely, Garen, I would definitely say uh, pick this up. Uh, it's definitely recommended. And again, I'm repeating myself. I said definitely about 600 times, but that's okay. Um, so, yeah, pick this up if you find, if you have a Kmart near you, or, or hopefully on Kmart.com you could order it there. Um, but it's, I think it's definitely worth it. Uh, hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. And until my next video, may the force be with you.